famous old joke about this next piece. It was taken from a Bach cantata. And the sheep basically grazes an absolutely fantastic, beautiful melody. And uh, the, uh, you might have heard this silly joke, but I guess uh, one day there was in the church, there was a, unfortunately a funeral, and the organist was at the back of the church where the organ was, you know, just playing background music. And someone came out and made a request. You don't get requests at funerals very often, but it was for this piece. And only afterwards did the organist find out that the man who had passed away, in fact, had spent his life importing sheep from New Zealand.
dedicate that to my cat, Minerva. She's probably bigger than most sheep, and uh, she, well, uh, right now I'm, uh, well, I'm not allowed to sh shear her. Sh she's a mancoon. My sister actually had a, a mancoon and did actually shear her cat, and it looked just like a lion. If you check out my Facebook page, you'll find lots of pictures of my cat, including her roaring very much like a lion. You, you've seen the MGM, you know, the openings of those. Yeah, well, that's my cat, okay? So, yeah, check me out online. Um, a nice gentleman was asking me, how do you find me online? Well, uh, good question. Friend me on Facebook. I've got two Facebook accounts. The one account, I had one friend for about 10 years. My neighbor, she wanted to know how it worked also. So, I've actually turned that into a page for my little jazz trio. So, Blue Triptych, you might see it. You'll see a trumpet on it, so that's you'll, you'll know it's me. But I do have um, a second Facebook account, which... Uh, is titled Ken Baldwin, and well, that's the name of my other one. So, get one. Of, if you find one, you'll find the other. Or if you Google London, where I'm from, live, and either jazz or blues, you're going to get a, a website. It's called um, lol.com or something. No, lol jazz. And the bass player in my uh, uh, group has been maintaining that, which is great because you know, all of a sudden. You can Google me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a, a fair joke. I, uh, I, I'd rather talk about my cat. But um, we have uh, two more pieces. I, I just wanted to alert you. It, on your program, it says one. I just didn't want you to leave before the encore. Uh, my Spirit Be Joyful is from Box Easter Kentucky.
you for staying for the full time. And, uh, well, I did warn you that we're having an encore. But uh, when I became a little early, Terry had to check out the organ, and I was just chatting with a gentleman who was reminiscing about the old times, and I guess Johnny Brown from town here had brought in Guido Basso, who, of course, plays flugelhorn, right? Now, if you do count, yes, this is the seventh different instrument I am playing. And I've been working up on getting uh, a gold one. Uh, so, yeah, you, you check with me if I have a gold flugelhorn sometime. Check out my website, actually. Yeah, I, I, should, I should put up a gold GoFundMe page there. Um, <laughs> oh, um, yeah, but seriously, the, the next, the, the last piece we would like to play for you uh, is dedication. Um, and this gentleman had reminded me that uh, you know, we owe a great debt to our uh, you know, older you know, generations and so on. And of course, Bach comes to mind, Stanley's fantastic measure to handles sound of the trumpet. And of course, Purcell, you know, the piece that we played, uh, the trumpet shall sound. They, they also kind of sound the same, I know. But here's one that doesn't. It was um, written by a man for his wife. His wife's name was Joan, and it's, it sounds actually quite liturgical. Uh, let me see if I can remember what the title is. Walk Hand in Hand. Now, the man who wrote this uh, wrote it back in the 1950s, and uh, he recently passed away. Uh, his name was Johnny Cowell, and he was someone who I thought very, very, very highly of. Uh, when I met him, I was a teenager, and uh, what I do remember after meeting him was he had put his trumpet case in his trunk, and he had an automatic trunk closer. He just hit the little fob and it closed his trunk. I thought, oh, that's so 